hello and welcome back welcome back viewers welcome back new comers to the channel those of you who are here for the first time please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button so that when we get new content you get it too all right so how are you doing today how is it going is it as cold where you are like where I am right now <laughs> it's cold <laughs> okay well today we just want to kind of continue where we left off but not quite two things were led on my spirit so I think I'm going to break this up into two parts so it's not too long for you so the first thing is um, we talked about seeking God right seeking him and I mean really seeking him going to the word reading it trying to really fully understand it whether you have to go to biblegateway.com or google.com or however you choose to do it go to a pastor in your church and help them for better understanding Make sure you get out to Bible study classes. If you don't understand, pray, ask God for revelation because he gives it to us. We just have to listen. The key is to listen. We got to learn to be still sometimes. You know, so many of us are so busy all the time. We have to learn to take that moment out of your day day every day God doesn't miss a moment to wake you up and equip you for the day don't miss a moment to praise him thank him and seek his face because he's there waiting on you he's waiting on you so definitely find some time out to seek him to read his word Find out what he's trying to reveal to you in whatever scripture you have read and get a better understanding of it because there is nothing more powerful than that revelation of his love through his word. That's a way of knowing him. Just like you have a friend or you're, you're becoming friends with someone. You get to know them. You spend time with them to get to know them, right? You are invited places. You invite them places. And that's how you get to know them, right? They tell you things about themselves. You tell them stuff about themselves. Same thing with God. We have to spend time with him. And when you talk to him, when you pray, that's communicating. And the same way that you communicate with others and then you have to listen in for what they are going to respond to you, you have to find a quiet place and listen as God reveals things and responds to you. Because he will. He does in so many different ways. So many times I ask him for things and I say, you know, please show me. Show me and help it to be clear to me. And many times I go to that scripture and boom, the answer is right there. Or someone calls on the phone and we're talking. And just like that, without me revealing what I was asking God for, the person might say something and it has the answer in it. And then I gain confirmation again in some other way or form. But he has a way of pointing things in your direction to show you exactly what he has in mind for you or what he's trying to reveal to you or an answer to a prayer that you've asked and inquired about so you just have to listen because when we're too busy or it's noisy we can't hear we can't receive him 
and receive what he has to say. So sometimes we have to take time out. Stop the working for a little while. Stop the TV. Unplug. Stop the texting all the time. And just take a few moments and listen to what God has to say to you. Okay, so you've sought him. You've re you're reading your word. You feel like, oh my goodness, I really, really want to accept him as my personal Lord and Savior because he is becoming the best thing that ever happened to me. I want him more. I want to feel his presence more. And I want to come back from doing things that I know I'm not supposed to be doing. If you are that person and you want him in your life, you believe, you've accepted, and you want to just receive him full in fullness, the fullness of him. If you truly believe and you want him in your life, you don't want to look back at all the things that you've been doing that you know it's not right or wouldn't be pleasing to him. If you're that person and you want him in your life, you seek the salvation prayer, the prayer to save you, the prayer to bring him closer to you and truly accept him as your personal Lord and Savior and if you do and you have and you will accept him and you want to say that prayer bow your heads and close your eyes and just repeat after me Lord Jesus I confess my sins and ask for your forgiveness please come into my heart as my Lord and personal Savior I want you to take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of your Holy Spirit. I know you've died on the cross and you rose again. You did it for me. And for that, I thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. Thank you for saving me, Lord. Amen. If you've said that prayer, you are indeed saved. You're saved. You've accepted him in your life. You've accepted him in your heart. Now you have to build on that. Develop your relationship with him because it's just the beginning but it's a great beginning it's the best beginning that you could ever have made this is your spiritual birthday write it down get in a good foundational trustworthy house of the Lord to build on it get into Bible study classes read your word kneel in prayer and remember Take some moments out. Take some time out for God. Because he always will make time out for you. God bless you. And I hope this has touched you in a special, blessed way today. Remain blessed and listen out for the next episode. Because as I said, I broke up what was led in my spirit to say so it's going to be a bit different but just wanted to break this up so it's not entirely too long don't like to go for hours or an hour because I know the attention spans these days kind of <laughs> have shortened and no one wants to listen to hours and hours and hours of people talking anyway right or am I wrong <laughs> All right, well, you remain blessed. Remember to hit that like button if you 
like what you've received and definitely comment because I love to hear from you. Have a blessed one.